one of the things that we do is we help to dismantle the, the control models. And I really love that word dismantle. It's like dismantling a caterpillar in order to get to a butterfly. And if you were to look into that cocoon, it's not a pretty sight. It looks like something died in there and something did die in there. And in a sense, with workplace culture, you have to let the old control models, which have reigned for centuries, little, literally centuries, and the responsibility model is the road very much still less traveled. It's not untraveled. It's just less traveled. Because because it's only now that we're coming into a much larger, quicker awareness of the power of a responsibility model. And people will tell stories that responsibility is a, a, a way of developing people where you believe that they are and want to be great. That you, if you take time to train them and you take time to coach them and you take time to transfer responsibility to them and help them pick that responsibility up, which is much harder than managing someone or evaluating or judging or rest rescuing them. What happens is when you do that well and you refrain from control, the employee becomes open, they become creative and proactive and accountable. They are fully engaged, which is the 29% that we don't hear about when we hear those awful statistics about disengagement.